Oh, wow. It's really dark over here. Okay. Hey, guys. My face is really red. <laughs> hey, guys. We hit 5,000 subscribers. Yay. <laughs> so, in order to say thank you to all of you guys, I am going to be sharing with you a pattern for uh, some pencil cases. So today we are using uh, Kimmy B Custom Fabrics. And we are going to be making some pencil cases. So now for the pattern, I was going to do this as a video, but I figured um, when I hit 5,000 subscribers this morning, my son's like, you need to do a live. You don't need to just, you need to do a live. So here we are. Um, for the pattern, I'm going to be linking it down below um, when the video is over. But essentially, what you're going to need is a 16 by 16 inch block. Um, whatever fabric um, you're going to use, you need a 16 by 16. Then you are also going to need some one sided um, stabilizer interfacing. It's the kind of thicker stuff, if you could see it. Uh, let's see. I've got the thing right here. Maybe. It's the Peltec stabilizer. Oh, there we go. And it's probably backwards for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So you're going to need some of that Peltex. You're going to need your fabric. Um, for mine, because of my industrial... I'm going to be using waterproof canvas as a lining. Um, but if you have a domestic, I would use cotton um, just because it, it's going to get thick. Okay. Then I have some two by three. I have two two by three pieces that I have interfaced. And then I've got my little waterproof canvas uh, two by threes. They're going to go together. They're going to be our little like side tabs that you hang on to so that you can uh, do your zipper. Then you're going to need a 21 inch zipper and you're probably going to want a size five. Um, the, this is why I record um, <laughs> the tape by the yard so that you can take this apart. You can use the other kind of zippers, but you're going to need to know how to put those back on. I also have my little zipper pull, my number five. And then I have two pieces that are eight inches by eight inches. This is going to need to be your lining fabric. So make sure that you get some lining fabric. So um, in order to do the pattern, so let's take the Minecraft. <clears throat> and I was a whole lot of late <laughs> getting these done. So you got to make them this weekend so the kids can take them to school with them. Our school started last week and it just, yeah. What you're going to do is you're going to take a 16 by 16 inch piece of fabric plus your interfacing, your Peltex. And then you're going to measure down four, across four, across four here. So you're going to have it eight by four. I'm going to link the pattern down below. So if you're watching this now and you just want to see how it's made, I will link the pattern down below so that you guys can see where all the cuts are made. Basically, and then four up, and then you just connect that. It should be a four by four block right here, and then you just slice it in half. And then you've got your uh, pattern. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our 21-inch zipper, and all of my tools are over here. You guys enjoying your Saturday? I think, I think the live chat is open. So if you guys want to go on there or if you have any questions, just let me know. But I found the middle and I've put my little triangles that I like to do, my little snips. And now you're going to take your pattern and we're going to fold that in half. And we're going to do the same thing. You're going to make your little snips so that you can find the center on the top and the bottom. So your fabric will wrinkle up a little bit. 
when you're doing this, hopefully you can see that I've got the little dip there. Okay, now we're going to do something scary. <laughs> so you got your zipper tape by the yard. First, we're going to burn the ends. Always, always, always when you're using nylon, burn those ends before you do anything, anything with it. Now the scary part. <laughs> Gotta take it apart. Ugh, I know that scares some people. You're like, ah, zipper. All right. So with right side of the zipper, hopefully you can see that's the right side. That's the wrong side. You see those little like, it looks like stitches. That's the wrong side. So we're going to put right side of our zipper to the right side of our thing. And I'll show you once I get it all clipped up. School, like this year, we homeschool. And I normally like find out early when school is going to start so that we can start before them. And school snuck up on me this year. And I was like, oh, I was going to be ready. I was going to be ready for school this year and have all these things made and ready to sell at the store. We ended up getting COVID um, right before school was going to start. So it kind of threw everything off and I saw some school buses out and I was like, Oh, <laughs> whoops. All right. So on both ends, you're going to do that. You're going to put your zipper tape with right side to right side. So the right side of your zipper tape to the right side of your fabric. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom. And we're just going to base these in place. <clears throat> so I had to do an emergency rush online and look for curriculum for our boys. Uh, we were going to stick our youngest in school this year because he um, needed speech therapy and stuff. And he's just kind of, he's kind of that kid that's kind of all over the place. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to homeschool this kid. And because we all got sick and distracted, I feel like it's too late to put him in school. So we're going to start on Monday and we're going to see how it goes. Pray for me. <laughs> all right. So we got both ends. Hopefully you can see that. Let me move all this stuff out of my way before I knock it off my table while I'm sewing. All right. So again, I'm going to leave the pattern down below so that you guys can cut yours out. Pretty simple. All I'm going to do right now is baste. And I had somebody recently ask me to make a video so you could hear my machine. You're going to hear it. Hopefully. Can you guys hear me? Because I got the microphone on so you don't hear the machine as much. Can somebody comment in the comment section? Let me know. If you legitimately can't hear me, there's no reason for me to keep going. <laughs> I should text one of my kids and be like, can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right. If you guys can hear me, let me know. I've got you plugged in. If you can't hear me, let me know. And that way I can fix the sound. All right, I got one of my kids. I'm going to get them to watch and listen. You can hear me? Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to try it with a microphone so that you guys could hear me because it's like a million degrees outside. And I've got the AC going and I don't want to like, yeah. So we're going to base this in place. You can do a four length. You can do a two and a half length. It's up to you. Okay, you can hear me. Good. And I'll show you guys what I've done when I'm finished. My mom says I sew like I drive. <laughs> but there's corners and stuff, so it kind of slows me down. So that's one side. You just want to baste them in place. It's going to make a whole lot easier when you go to put your lining on. 
And these are really fast to make. I have like 10 of them cut out that I have to make today to get to the store by Monday so that hopefully they can sell them to all the kids going to school. Hopefully. Because I'm late this year. I was like, I'm going to have book bags made and I'm going to be ready for the store so they can have school stuff to sell to the moms. Stupid COVID. That and I've been making more taco purses. All right. So we got everything all basted in place. You can see it a little bit better on the back. So I've just kind of uh, about a one eighth of an inch edge. This is where I record people. <laughs> one eighth away from the edge. And then you're going to grab your lining. I'm doing waterproof canvas because my machine can handle it. But if you're doing it on a domestic, I would highly suggest cotton. Um, and at the very top and the very bottom, I'm going to put my little snip in there so that I can meet the centers. I think it takes me about an, I don't know, if I'm just doing one, maybe 30 minutes to make these, maybe you can make some up this weekend. Okay, so with right side of my waterproof canvas to the right side of my fabric, I'm going to be notching matching those little notches up hopefully you can see that we'll see how long it takes me to do this video I don't judge how long it's going to take you to make this again I will link the pattern down below so that you guys can do this over the weekend and then the kiddos can have a really cool pencil case to take to school with them or uh, my oldest likes to play, um, I don't know, D&D &D or some of those other weird games. And he uses dice. And because it's got the little things on the side, you could actually use it as a dice bowl. So if you've got somebody you know that wants to use something like that, you could do that. All right, so almost done. Um, if you guys are here from Kimmy B's and you have any questions about the new patterns that are coming out, um, maybe you've pre-ordered it and you're like, I don't, I don't know. But leave those in the comment section and I'll answer those questions if you got them. All right, so we've got right side to right side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to sew from the top and the bottom and I'll show you when I get done. I probably should have used a brighter thread so you guys can see what I'm doing. And am I yelling? I don't want to yell you guys out. And if you guys have any questions while I'm going, just shoot them to me. So anyway, school, along with having a small business, is fun. I will be starting on Monday, and then on Tuesday, I have a ton of taco fabric coming that I am making some uh, taco purses out of. I have not done a video about that yet, but it will be shortly that I'll be posting it because I have eight more to do. And, you know, as a YouTuber, you record everything, so... I will be making those on Tuesday and hopefully getting them done by Wednesday. I have some very patient customers who have waited through COVID. <clears throat> um, so hopefully get those out by Wednesday. Did anybody else get COVID? We went two and a half years without getting it. And my husband... Uh, works at a prison and they stopped testing and then it started going around again and you can't help it you're locked up with these people you're going to get it one way or another uh, but he brought it home and we all ended up getting it and it was so frustrating the kids got it for like a day <laughs> our our youngest <clears throat> was uh 
uh, body aches, felt bad, was crying all day long. It was terrible. And the next day he was running around. We're like, <sighs> meanwhile, we're all over there trying to die. <laughs> At least the first day. The first day was bad. All right. So I've, I've uh, stitched it all together on both sides. You should have a nice open area here. So now we're going to flip it inside out. And you are going to need, you might need to like iron this and press it when you get done, especially using the Peltex. It just tends to like, I don't know, mess up that way. So if you want to do the ironing, I would do it now. <laughs> After you turn it inside out. And you're going to want to poke those corners out. And I don't have my zipper on, if you've noticed, when I got started. So don't, <laughs> you're not going to be able to do this with your zipper on. So you turn it inside out. And then if you want to press it right now, you can, since we're doing a live. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm going to lengthen my stitches to a four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch on both sides. I still have like, <clears throat> you probably hear it in my voice, I still have like a rabbi kind of and a little bit of a cough. But other than that, I'm over it. Thank goodness. I was thinking it was going to be a whole lot worse. And it ended up not being too bad. So, thank goodness. But it did knock us out for like a week and a half. And I went out. I went out to Hobby Lobby in the dollar store. Because I needed some supplies. And um, I went out. And I came home. And I was like, I need a nap. <laughs> I haven't been out in a week. I need a nap. This is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. It just gets you when you're laying around and you don't feel well. And then you go out and have to run errands. It's like, oh. It was terrible. But I successfully went on a grocery run and a post office run yesterday. And I did fine. So I'm like, okay, we're back to normal. hate not feeling like 100%, especially when I have a lot to do. I hope you guys can hear me over this sewing machine. I'm hoping the microphone is going to help. I might be using it in future videos just so that I don't have to like edit out all of the AC sound. That is so annoying to be editing all of that out. All right. So there you go. Boom. You're done. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, now we're going to need our zipper. So if you have zipper by the yard, this should be fairly easy. Um, if you don't have, say, a zipper jig or you can't do this on your own, you might need a zipper jig. Um, I work with zipper so much that I can just kind of put it on there. I say that. Now I won't be able to get it on. Let's see. it's basically putting in the left side first and then putting in the right side and you kind of have to match them up and this thing wants to like fly open because of how it is all right there we go so you're going to put your zipper on and so that it doesn't go sliding off you can um you can do a zigzag on this end and then put these together and do a zigzag. My industrial does not do a zigzag. And I'm not super worried about it flying off. But I am going to do this side. So you're going to need to squash it down. And just kind of run over it a couple of times. So that it stays together. The next step that will be really important. And I'll show you what I did in just a second. When it cooperates with me. All right, there we go. 
and just run over it a couple of times. If you're using nylon, if you're using metal, then do a zigzag. All right, so there you go. That's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. I just ran over it a couple of times just so that it would stay together. All right, so the next part. This is going to be fussy, so just bear with me for a second. It's been a while since I've made these. And if you're doing it right, it should be inside out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we go. Ugh, turn it inside out. And do that step that I just showed you. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is there's is right here. You're going to be kind of flattening all this out and you're going to need some clips to kind of clip it in place. I'll show you in just a second, but it needs to be somewhat flat all the way across. Like so. Now you can straighten up your zipper tabs or your zipper tape right here when you go to sew it. But for right now, having it open like that, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, So you're going to do that on both sides. And if you want, you can extend your stitch length out to a four for this part. But I'm going to go ahead and do it at a two and a half. Oh, nope, I'm doing it at a four. <laughs> All right, so you're going to do that on both sides and then we got to stop what we're doing and do a little bit of prep work for the rest of the box. Okay, the sewing machine isn't too loud. There are some days when I go grocery shopping. I used to go to three stores on the first one. My husband got paid. And I was exhausted when I got back. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. But in my defense, three stores is a lot. Especially if I had to take a little one with me. I was like, my goodness. Lots of people. So I get it, Connie. All right, so just like you did on this side, we're going to do it on this side. It's going to take some concentration. Sorry. Let's see. Oop. And this side, because it's the end where the zipper is, is going to want to, that zipper is going to want to go all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to have to move it out of the way when we go to sew it. So I've got it all clipped up just like that. You see that zipper there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew here and then stop and then kind of lift, lift it up and bend it and then push that zipper up out of the way so that I don't catch it. We need our zipper. Make sure that you backstitch, guys. All right, so now I'm stopping, I'm bending, and getting that zipper out of the way because I do not want to hit it. And if you want, you can back stitch over that zipper, I would. All right. I don't go to three grocery stores anymore. I am so thankful that they have like the order online and you can just pick it up. That saves me so much time because having, a, you know, a small business and kids and homeschooling and all that stuff, I need all the little helps that I can get. So you got both sides. Now we're going to grab our eight by eights and you need two of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to write sides together. We're going to sew on this side, this side, and this side. And you're going to be doing that a quarter of an inch seam allowance. 
and you do need to leave, or no, I'm sorry. All you're gonna need to do is sew on the sides, not this side. For talking and trying to focus at the same time. The note. <laughs> Running a small business is a lot of work, especially when you're the only employee right this second. <laughs> oh, so I'm always working, but I'm home with my kids. And I get to see them every day. And they get to come up here and they'll, they'll probably pop in at some point. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> they got to check on mom. But I love being able to be home with my kids. Especially my five-year-old. He comes up here with me and he's like, I made you a pickaxe, mom. <laughs> okay. I know nothing about Minecraft, but those boys sure do. They are all about it. Um, so I am trying to show you after I do it because the camera angle, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. And that's why 90% of the time I record my videos so that I can move my camera. I'm actually on my computer right now doing the live. But I'm showing you when I'm finished with each piece so that you can see what I've done. So basically, black on black. Sorry about that. Just the sides. And I probably need to get like another table to sit over here so that you guys can actually see the machine too. You're going to turn it inside out. Here are my other scissors over there, of course. I'm going to turn these. Make sure you poke those corners. But yeah, it's so much easier when you're doing it, um, recording it and all of that, because you can show all of the angles. So these are going to be our side pockets. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go from this side to this side to this side and just kind of do a top stitch real quick. I didn't want to put you guys on my sewing desk because I didn't want you to be bouncing all around. Because normally if I've got something on here, it's kind of bouncing around. If you guys want me to move it, I will. But I thought this was the best setup. Sorry. All right. So make sure you poke out those corners. I actually need a shorter table. So you've got your second one. And I'm just doing it an eighth of an inch all the way around. Making sure I backstitch. So hopefully you can see that. I know it's hard, but I just did an eighth of an inch all the way around so that it'll stay nice and flat. All right. Next prep is going to be your little things that I should have already stuck in there. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine here. So they're two inches by three inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half like so. And then I'm going to fold it in on itself like that. So you can see the raw edge right here. And then you can see your little Minecraft fabric right there. So you're going to do that to both your um, waterproof canvas or your lining fabric and your outside fabric. And then we're going to put those on top of each other with raw sides together. 
And if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this so you guys can actually see what I'm doing, then I can do that. Just let me know in the comment section down below and I will do it. All right, so they're going to be just like that. You're going to put raw sides together and your nice sides are going to be on the outside. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to sew down each side and that way they're together. And these are going to be your little tabs because you need a tab to pull it open and shut with. All right. So is everybody's kids back in school? I'm curious if I'm the only one in my little town where everybody's going back to school. Just me. They are really going to like these at the store. I don't know what happened and I'm, I'm grateful for it, but like everything in the store got wiped out while we were sick. So, I'm having to uh, make a bunch of stuff for the store this weekend because I have taco purses coming in that I got to work on. And I think they need some school stuff. Cameo. Okay. I was curious. I have another camera that it's supposed to have Wi-Fi or whatever, Bluetooth. I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I can record with it. I can edit. I can do all of that stuff. But like doing lives are like all new for me because sometimes I mess up and I like, I need time to like use my seam ripper. <laughs> Especially if it's, I haven't had enough caffeine yet, which apparently is the problem today. So school starts Monday. I had to use OBS to get both cameras to go. Okay, that's going to have to be something I'm going to Google later because I have no clue. All right. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pick this out. I know. I'm sorry. It's early. And basically what you do is you fold this in half. So you take it and you fold it in half. And you're going to put it with your zipper like that on the inside. So I'm going to rip one side out real quick. This is why <clears throat> this is why I record and don't do lives. <laughs> it's a streaming software. Okay. I have to look it up cuz I would love to do more lives cuz I have a lot of people that ask about the fabricator. And they want to hear the machine. They want to see it in action. And I'm just like, I, I don't do. <laughs> it's so nerve wracking doing live videos. Because if you mess up like I just did, <laughs> you got to stop and fix it in front of everybody. And you're just like, hold on. Give me a minute. So it does make me nervous about doing lives. Especially when it's. Um, some of my stuff is just so intricate and takes hours to film and hours to make. So I don't know that I'd want to do that with like a live that would take all day. However, I wouldn't have to edit afterwards, which would be really nice. Editing takes a long time. People just don't realize how long editing takes. Okay, so I've got my little tab in there now. I had to pick this out and then re-sew it on. Now I'm going to do that on the other side real quick, just so that we have that. Oh, and it's the zipper side. Fantastic. Eliam, is that you? Bush Grizzly? I should know. That should be you. So the store, I 
Ashley <laughs> has been selling out of stuff. And I made a bunch of stuff this weekend. And I have the rest of the weekend to do like a gazillion more of these. So they have something to sell. Yes, it's you. Okay, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. And I thought that these pencil cases would be good with school starting. And I'm looking for more things to make really quickly. And I have my own uh, men's wallet pattern. And I'm thinking about making some of those. Are there any patterns that you guys know of that you can make stuff and do it really quickly? Because i got to make a ton of stuff <laughs> in a very small amount of time. If you can think of anything, let me know. I just got to fill their shelves so that I can concentrate on work, but still have stuff for the store. Oh. But yeah, I think mm -hmm. my men's wallet is a pretty quick pattern. And I like using that one. I just don't know if they would sell there or not. I'll have to see. Make a couple and see if it works out. I always say I'm going to be ready for some of these holidays like Father's Day. And I never am. <laughs> I always get busy doing something else or another round of taco wallet. I'm going to be showing you, Rhonda, when I get done with everything because I can't. Like, I don't have the right camera set up. For it was a spontaneous um, live today, but I've got my little tab in there now. And you sew all the way across both sides. I wonder how I could do that. Let me think for a second. Now you're going to grab your little eight by eight that we folded in half, top stitched, all of that. And let's try the hardest side first. Sound good? Let's try it. I'm putting it along the edge that has the zipper. Are any of you guys here from Kimmy B's? I did this partially so that I could answer some questions because we've got all of those new uh, panels coming out and people are getting excited because they are on their way just a little bit longer and they'll be here. The chocolate frog box or the quibbler or anything like that. If you guys have any questions, you just let me know. Shoot me some questions. I'm excited about those patterns. If you haven't watched those videos, those are like the detailed videos so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. All right. So on the back side, we're going to put the open edge right here along the zipper side. We're going to go ahead and sew again at a quarter of an inch all the way across. Those turned out really, really cute. But we spent two days answering questions about the chocolate frog box um, situation. Just how the panels are and how you get everything all in one shot. I thought I could answer some more questions while I was doing this. If anybody had any and they wanted like on the spot answering questions. All right. Now we're going to take this flap. And flap it up. And real quick, I am going to get my zipper scissors. Yep, that's the thing. I use nylon zippers a lot. And I find that they wear uh, wear down your zippers a little bit. And, or zippers, your scissors a little bit. So I'm just cutting that off to be out of my way. I am going to burn it again. So I have a specific pair of scissors for cutting my zippers, my scissors for my zippers and not burn the house down. That'd be great. All right. So now that I've got that all trimmed up, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it over like this. 
this is going to be that kind of dice tray situation or the pencil situation. And we're going to sew across there. And that's why I'm saying if you've got a domestic, you really, really, really want to use cotton. Because if you're using um, waterproof canvas, it's going to get really thick to sew. And I have some stragglers. Give me one second. So that's what the back's going to look like. And that's what the front's going to look like. And I am a glutton for punishment because I'm starting on the zipper side again. Now, I find that you kind of have to bend it when you're sewing it because that zipper is right there and you want to get that zipper out of your way. So I'm going to start. Make sure that you uh, backstitch when you start. And I'm going to show you. I am going to. I think I'm going to put it to a four because this, she's thick. I have broken more clips since I started using waterproof canvas and making purses than I ever have in my entire life. <laughs> Shooting across the room. <laughs> I hear you, baby girl. You can go over it. All right. Give me one second. I'll show you guys. You make kind of a canal. All right. So there you go. It covers up all of that on the inside. Hopefully, if I did my job right, it covers up all of your seams and everything. And you've got to do that on both sides. Now, let me burn my ends real quick. And you're almost done. Uh, it's a really quick pattern. I really like it for making things quickly. And especially with school coming up and all, the kids can take something fun. It doesn't just have to be for pencils, guys. Whatever, you know, your kids need, your crayons. I plan on using one of these for their their pencils and stuff because once you turn it inside out it makes like this crater and it can kind of hold everything so that their crayons can kind of all be out and not falling on the floor <laughs> and all over the place like they normally are when we open up the box of crayons and so hopefully this will help we'll see gosh my voice sounds funny okay the second side, we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to put our flap on the back. And then you're going to sew about a quarter of an inch. And you can put your stitch length back to a two and a half. Or you can keep it at a four. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. And then again, I'm going to be cutting my zipper out of the way. So that I don't have to mess with that. And I'll show you in just a second what I did. Alright, so I'm going to need to burn that. And then I'll burn the house down. <laughs> I am using a bonded poly uh, thread. So that's why I've got to burn all of my threads and then burn. You're using a nylon zipper, so you need to burn the end so that it doesn't unravel. Now we're going to take it and we're going to fold it over. And then we're just going to do just like we did on the other side. We're going to pull this over like so. I think... For the next live we do we this was spontaneous we hit 5,000 subscribers this morning and I was like it'd be so fun to do like a live video with you guys um, I think next time we'll try and work on facing the camera in the right direction all right so that's what your back should look like and then your front we're just gonna sew across here just like we did on the other side mm -hmm. My son was like, Mom, you hit 5,000 subscribers. You got to do something other than just being like, we did 5,000. You got to do a live or something. Okay. I can totally do this. <laughs> totally. Okay. 
And we're, we're seriously almost done. We're almost to the last step. Um, I would go slow over this part because it is a lot of layers. Um, and I will uh, leave the video pattern in the link down below when I get done with this live so you guys can get it. It's really simple, easy pattern, quick. I think it's mostly for makeup is how she made it. I'm like, you know what? That would be a really cute pencil case for the kids for school and they come together so quickly so this is what yours should look like you got your little flaps here now what we're going to do is we're going to turn everything inside out like i said it doesn't have to just be for your pens and stuff it can be for like dice crayons like go for it go for the moon think of something else make it a makeup bag like <laughs> do whatever needs to be done Okay, so here's the tricky bit. So we've got it all turned inside out. We've got the right side out. Now we've got these little flaps. So what you're gonna need to do if you're using uh, cotton and you've been doing this on a domestic, you can hand sew this or you can just kind of sew it in place. So this is how I say it's the tricky bit. So you're gonna need to flatten this piece out right here as best you can. You're not going to get it 100%. Then, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the sewing machine and one side at a time is you're going to make a little stitch right here and right here on black on black. Super helpful. Sorry. You're going to do right here on the edges of your little uh, your little lip here and I'll show you in just a second and the black thread will show up better on the outside fabric so you guys can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing if I turn some light on so you're just doing like an inch inch and a half stitches to hold that little flap in place so that it'll stay up and Okay, so just like that, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. We're just going to stitch right there. If you're doing cotton, you could probably just do like an inside. On the inside, you could hand stitch it, and that way you wouldn't see it on the outside. But since I'm working with waterproof canvas, hand sewing is not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not that committed. One second. I'm getting older and my eyesight is just like, you don't need to see that black thread. You don't need to pull that through and burn it. Just let it go. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to do that to all four sides. So you're going to do it right here and right here. And then come on this side and do the same exact thing. And then you're almost done. These are super duper quick. Uh, they do take a lot of fabric though. But if you have like a fat quarter or something like that, it would work really well. Uh, so it's a 16 by 16 block to get started. And then you kind of cut it out into fours. If you missed the beginning of the video, I was telling you guys how you kind of did all of that. <clears throat> but the, I'll leave the pattern down below so you guys can kind of check it out on your own. Because it's, it's just a really easy pattern. She did do it for like a makeup bag. Okay. Now I've got those two sides done. I got to go do it on the other two. And apparently I'm not clipping. I'm just going to go for gold here. It's actually a decent size bag. So you could use it for makeup. You could use it for pencils. You could use it for whatever your little line can come up with. Um, hold on your cards. My kids are probably most likely going to be using this for their dice or something like that. 
especially my oldest, because he just asked me this morning for a dice bag. So if he's watching, you have to come tell me which fabric you want, and then I will make you yours. All right, last side. We're almost done. Again, if you guys want a more in-depth video, let me know. That, that's originally what I had planned on doing. And then my son was just like, you hit 5,000. You have to do a lot. So I can do a tutorial on how to do this again, like where you guys can actually see what I'm doing. If you guys want. But again, these are pretty easy. And if you watch the video when I'm no longer live, you guys can kind of do it at home. It's pretty easy. Or watch the other lady that I'll post a video to because she did it and um, she used cotton and she did it on a domestic. So if you want to watch that, you can. All right, so we've got all four sides done. But you see how this kind of like stands up like that? That will keep all of your stuff from just kind of rolling out. Now, it's going to take a minute for this thing to kind of adjust to the fact that it needs to be bending. <laughs> so what I normally do is I'll zip it up and I'll leave it like that for a little while because it's not, it wants to open up. All right. There you go. Pencil case. All did. And how long have we been live? About an hour, give or take. So about an hour with doing it in front of people and messing up once. <laughs> so they're actually pretty quick. So. so if you guys have any questions, grab them now. But you need these little tabs so that when you're opening it up, it's just easier to get it open and get it closed. So don't forget your tabs like I did. Now I have nine more over there to do for the rest of the day, for the weekend. So thanks, Connie. All right. I will do another video if you guys want to leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys want to like actually see all the steps because I know that was kind of like barely being able to see what I was doing. Uh, or if this was enough, let me know if you, if you make one. Um, I'm also on Instagram. I don't post as often, but I am on there if you want to tag me and let me see your little makes. And if you need some cute fabric, check out Kimmy B Custom Fabrics because they got some cute. Um, I've got some Pokemon. I've got, I got a lot of Pokemon. Uh, they got Minecraft. They've got lots of Harry Potter. Uh, they also have the Harry Potter uh, panel packs coming out. We've got the Chocolate Frog Box, uh, the Quibbler. They have the Hocus Pocus bag. Um, there's, there's stuff that we've been working on the last couple of weeks that are coming out that are really going to be exciting. So make sure that you go like Kennedy's Custom Fabrics on Facebook so that you don't miss anything. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing and watching the videos. It really means a lot to me. I had no idea in two years that I'd have 5,000 subscribers. It's just nuts. Um, thank you guys so much. It does, I don't make a killing, but it does help uh, making a little bit of extra money every month to kind of keep the faith works business going. So, and it helps me take time to be able to teach like I like to and be able to show you guys some of the cool stuff that I'm doing. So thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. And I, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us at FaithWorks Design. Uh, don't forget to check out some of the other videos. We got some exciting stuff coming. All right. Thanks, guys.